Hi, welcome to Aaron's World Famous. I'm Aaron, and on today's episode, we're going to be making a quick and easy cherry cobbler. Here's the list of ingredients you'll need to make today's recipe. One 21 ounce can of cherry pie filling, one cup of milk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a half a cup or one stick of butter, one cup of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and three quarters of a cup of white granulated sugar. As an extra optional ingredient, you can always dust the top with a little powdered sugar. To start this recipe, you're gonna take a nine by 13 inch glass baking dish and put in your stick of butter. You're going to place this dish into a cold oven. Turn it on to 350 degrees. While your oven's preheating, this will melt the butter and prepare the dish for baking. While your oven is preheating and your butter is melting in your pan, you're going to combine all your dry ingredients. Start with your one cup of all-purpose flour, three quarters of a cup of your granulated sugar, your one teaspoon of baking powder. Stir to combine all those together. With those combined, you're going to add your wet ingredients, your one cup of milk, and your one teaspoon of vanilla extract. You're gonna wanna mix until thoroughly combined and looks like this, almost like a runny pancake batter or like a cake batter. Once your butter is completely melted and you remove it from the oven, you're going to take your cobbler batter and add it to the butter. Make sure to distribute it around the dish, but you do not want to stir and mix it in with the butter. The butter is gonna give it nice little crispy edges as it bakes. Once you put your batter into your butter dish, you're gonna spoon in little drops of your cherry pie filling. Try to spread it out as evenly as you can. Just gonna kinda dollop it everywhere. It's gonna cook into the cake, but you also want nice little pockets of the sauce and cherries as well. Once you've poured in all of your cherry pie filling onto your cobbler mixture, you're going to pop this pan back into the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. Make sure to check it for browning. You want it to be light golden brown along the edges. Once your cobbler's golden brown like this, you're going to want to remove it from the oven. I said 20 to 25 minutes earlier. However, I meant to say 40 to 45 minutes. Let your cobbler cool down so it's just warm and then serve it with either whipped cream or ice cream. Once you've dished it out onto a plate, go ahead and dust it with a little powdered sugar and then serve with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. And there you have it, a quick and easy cherry cobbler. If you've enjoyed this recipe, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and comment on what you may like to see me cook next. Until next time.